We're back for what we like to call exclamation point, a bonus conversation you'll see here only on CBS News New York. We have questions from our, our viewers and your constituents. Richard has a question about employment. Take a listen. What can we do about jobs? I know unemployment's not too bad, but we need to eradicate it as much as possible so we can get the working men and women in New York City back you know, back employed. Just wondering what you could possibly do to, to uh, um, help that situation. Governor? I've already created jobs. I know this is the most important thing I can do as a governor is to incentivize businesses to expand here. You ever hear of Micron, the largest producer of semiconductors in this country? They were going to Texas. I work with Senator Schumer from his work in Washington, Joe Biden, and I got it done here in New York because we put incentives in place. 50,000 new jobs coming to New York. And little yesterday, because of that, I got a call from Great Britain. Another business leader wants to expand and do another $300 million investment. I know how to create jobs. Lee Zeldin voted against all those incentives. It wouldn't have happened under his watch. Okay, Suzanne and Brown have questions about housing. Take a listen. When are you going to build housing for people that they can afford? <laughs> it's not, everybody's not rich. You know, there's a lot of people in the middle. At $4,000 for a little tiny house, they could build thousands of them. It could be a tiny house village with all the services, and we wouldn't have uh, homeless people lying in the middle of the winter. Would the governor consider researching a program of this kind? Oh, I'm so excited to talk about housing. When we head into our next legislative session, top of mind is affordability. Within that, it's affordable housing as well as public safety. This year, we announced $25 billion to build more housing. It won't be enough. I'm going to be focusing on converting existing office space, even in places like Midtown. How do we get residential in these buildings that are only partially occupied anymore? We have plans to build, build supportive housing for the homeless, people with substance abuse problems, veterans, the LGBTQ community. So there's special housing for that. So I'm going to be building like there's no tomorrow. I love this. This is my passion is to build more affordable housing. We are behind other cities. There have been too many barriers. One person can say no to entire projects. That has to stop. We have to start building our way out of this crisis. Okay, Don wants to know about the plans for the future. What can you do to bring the New York that we came here for back? And I think it can happen. You have just, I think we need to raise taxes too. Governor. <laughs> well, I'm not planning on raising taxes, but he's absolutely right. We are on the cusp of greatness once again. We were hit so hard by this pandemic, and then the cost of everything went up nationwide, gasoline, groceries, rent. So people have been under siege. But I really do feel in my bones that this is our opportunity to once again rise up, as New York always does, and to be a leader. We are attracting People in tech jobs and people from all over this country want to come here now and also because we are a safe haven for women's rights and that will never change when I'm, as I stay the governor. So now I get to my favorite fun questions. First of all, Governor, what's something you've come close to giving up on? Giving up on? I know it's not your new no, I don't. No, I don't know how to give up on anything. I'd give up on nothing. <laughs> you know, maybe give up on eating too much. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look like you've given no. up on that. And, and, anyway, so let me ask you another question. Do you think happiness is a choice? Yes. Have you made the choice to be happy? I, yes, I am what they call the happy warrior. Uh, that's just something I embrace every day. You can have all kinds of incoming at you, but I am as tough as nails. And I grew up with this positive sense of you know, optimism is how I view the rest of the world, and I really believe that we can make things better. So I, I, I'm intentionally, consciously, always happy. Chess or checkers? Chess. Really? Yes. Are you good at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I. Uh, but I, love, I like playing it. Favorite candy bar? That would have to be a Twix bar. It's kind of a combination of a cookie and candy, so it's like, hits the sweet spot. Okay, last question. What's the first thing you'll do after the election is over? Take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> We've been running 24-7. I think I'll join you on that. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have. Thank you very much for joining me.